think that that was something that would have happened in my life. Mm. And then what happened is a family friend who, my mother is somebody too who was very kind. My mother cook for her and take care of her and she come to Jamaica and my mother really just was being a great host and she said, the lady, the old lady said to her, Miss Aina, I will never forget her. And maybe some of her family are listening now. She said, you know, say, I'm going to make my daughter write her invitation letter to your daughter because I want you to come and know Canada. What? And that was how I get to go, Miss Aina. Miss Aina. Um, make her daughter write an invitation letter for me. Uh, at the time, I was working at Jamaica Telephone Company as a telephone operator. And I was going to CAS at the time. You take no, but CAS at the time. I was doing part-time um, bilingual secretarial program. And that was how I got to go. Yeah. And I'm not saying it was easy. I'm pretty, but yeah. Mm -hmm. That was how I got to go, go there. Wow. By myself. Mm. I tell you something. How did that feel though? Oh, By yourself. By myself. Going to a, to a strange, strange land to, exactly. and I don't have no family. That is like a... Well, I mean, I don't know if I explain it to you, but... Um, it's either lunacy or faith. Or, it is or like, like both. Right. <laughs> it, 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 it was like, like crazy a, a crazy kind of situation where I'm going on the plane. I remember it so well. I was so nervous. My first plane ride. And I'm sitting next to this lady and she is um, a Canadian, a Jamaican woman of Canadian, with Canadian citizenship. And she said to me, you look like you're a little nervous. And I said, yes, I am. I said, I'm supposed to be going there for, uh, I don't know, three weeks or so. Because, you know, it was like, um, what do you call it? I, I, it's a vacation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, not a, it's not a permanent visa, you know, it's a visitor's mm -hmm. visa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so she said, all right. She said, you know what? I am going to tell the immig Canadian immigration that you're my family or you're my friend. And I, you're coming to be with me because... They wouldn't know any, know any different. And so the three weeks turned into a six-month visa when I got to the airport. And then the three-week visa turned into a six-month visa when I get to the airport. They mark my visa in my passport. Six months. Mm. So now what it meant was that I had an opportunity to um, get an immigration you know, consultation while I was there and find out what's what. It was so fascinating because the family that I went to stay with, the husband of that family, he made it a point to give me money to pay for a lawyer, an immigration lawyer consultation. Like everything about that is like very magical and miraculous. Mm -hmm. Magical and miraculous. Mm -hmm. um, the man who is, I'm not going to talk his story here because there's a book supposed to come out in a couple months where some stuff will come up but he I was able to convince him after months weeks whatever to I found out that he is living in Canada as a permanent resident or a citizen okay the plot thickens alright full circle you can't make this stuff up <laughs> yeah <Can I? laughs> never me and him never have no relationship and I mean he was a very young person and then he I was able to convince him to go with me to the immigration office and fill out forms and basically tell me he can't get involved in my life but you know he can at least do that and he went with me to the immigration office and swear that he's my father and I mean it was like I was a fly on the wall seeing what was going on and then in that same immigration meeting I got landed status like just like that mm -mm. and he basically stayed out of my life but so me had to figure it out. So the landed status really allowed me to stay, but it not mm -hmm. necessarily mean to say my life becoming have nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me nearly homeless two time after that. And there are no handouts. And there is no handout, and it's a cool place. Mm -hmm. And I babysit, and I do whatever telemarketing and all kind of manner of things to find my way. But yeah, so I had a miraculous encounter. You could say just a series of miraculous events. People helpful people showed up out of the woodwork um, just all kinds of things to make me stay there mm -hmm. make me stay and um, yeah um, mm. wow 
then Goodness. find a way there. This is like the blessings of the grandmother and the mother. Yes. 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 Just it's following a whole, her. It's a whole. Yeah. This, I mean, this is a, this is a bigger, this is a bigger plot than one can see. It's just, uh, I mean, I still kind of dumbstruck by yes. how things shape up. Um, you believe in providence? Without a doubt. You see that song and she just plays Shirley Caesar. You know how many days I sit down in Canada nervous and afraid and thinking. I actually called my mother and I said to her, you know, say I'm coming home. And she said, why, why are you coming home? And I said, boy, the, the place is too cold and I don't really like how it's there. And she said, well, if it not work out for you, you come back to your yard because you never, after you never do no crime yet, that you have run away. You know. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> I discourage me, discourage, you know, because mm. nothing now nah run, you know, mm. it's just like, not now nah, really run for me and it depressing the cold really depressed me more than anything else and so we just share that with her but this lady song surely sees that anytime me hear her me get a just a, a, a kind of thing of faith like me get a dose of strength me hear her you may not know how you may not know when but he'll do it again mm -hmm. and I was reminded that there were different times in my life where God came through for me and so I just knew that God was going to come through. So that, yeah, that would always just show up in my life. I don't know one time. I don't know two times. I don't know 20 times. Wow. Enough, enough time. Mm -hmm. My goodness. God comes through for me. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Sound of Lorna Blake, author, motivational speaker, leadership coach, and Jamaican. I said that part proudly, connecting with us. Mm -hmm. Listen now, memory this quick thing before we take a break. A text came in and said, Boom, bang, she connect. And the interview just that. What a nice lady, Angie from Bull Bay. Thanks, Angie. Ah. <laughs> love, we'll come right back. With your whole heart inside. Lift the mind, lift the mind. Holy, 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 holy. Holy moon, sign and I. Do, 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 do.
and Morgan Heritage and Psalm 23. We're just surmising off here. here. What a lala when would you land? Get it done. We're going to have to have shuttles to the airport. <laughs> We're going to have to have overhead crane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it's a lot of people are kind of more distracted and so it might not be quite that, but it's going to be something else. It's going to be huge. Mm-hmm. Because the whole world is going to be looking. Mm-hmm. We sometimes forget the impact we have as a little tiny piece of rock stone mm-hmm. that we're just punching so high above our yes. waist in many ways. Absolutely. And I guess that reinforced the distress we have of not getting something mm-hmm. right. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> right. we have a big expectation, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the truth. True, true. So, our long bench guest today is Ms. Lorna Blake. She's an author, she's a motivational speaker, leadership and prosperity coach and we've been really transfixed by her story she she's a yeah i see i get why you're a lawyer i get where you're a lawyer by the way mikey is listening oh mikey chambers listening mikey chambers listening oh my yes i just hit the phone and there he was i'm listening all right michael listening to foreign make sure you tell your neighbors and friends to listen to (laughs) (laughs) that was our that was our connector that was our connector michael chambers Chambers is a great broadcast engineer i met while as a teenager actually Wow. Mm-hmm. Just get a look at work at JBC Radio Central in Mandeville. Oh, wow. And he used to come down and help with stuff and thing and reconnected when I came into Kingston to do um, my thing at Carabac. So, friendships. I know. Good people don't really leave your life. You know, they circle around and come back. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> they, true, circle. they circle and come back. It's true. Yes. It's um, true. Yeah. I met him, as you said, Art, I met him as a teen. Mm-hmm. Um, and we lived in this we lived i think next door to each other mm-hmm. and i had this um a real sense of respect 
and admiration for him and I knew that he worked at um, JBC and I've always had a love for radio mm -hmm. um, and I think he always um, he saw me as somebody that he wanted to help he didn't know what I was going through because in more recent years you know him said to me I think I, I put a post on, on Facebook about you know the fact that I had gone through abuse and he said you mean I know you all these decades and I never know so you to go through them someday so you know um, he really has, is somebody who's always been there supportive and ever so often he would check in so mm -hmm. he when I moved to Canada I think he might have been in the States already he would check in to see how things were mm -hmm. and I'm thankful that through him I link up with you yeah good stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. again talking about nothing near book up our coincidence nothing things blood yeah, no forward. random no randomness there's no randomness with God and creator mm -hmm. you know, God have it line up plan out what do you say I have a, a number of friends who are increasingly among them um, embracing atheism and I don't argue with people about their beliefs because we're all free to choose and mm. it's you know um, I don't choose that path yeah. but then who am I to tell them they have their own experiences right that's true what 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 do you say what what do you say what do you share with our friends because i if them is my friend it means them non-judgmental mm -hmm. so we can yes. talk straight yes i usually just said to them that you know but well, this is what i experience yes. i can't tell you what i experience i can't tell you what you must do agree <laughs> agree and and some of them by some kind of listen a little bit and some just kind of gone but it's a it's an interesting thing that we we have so many persons now who really and truly and a lot of people faking to get attention okay have those people in them heart to heart based on what them think they don't they don't it's not their, their experience is not what ours is yeah yeah and i i i have to tell you that in the work that i do i have encountered many different people of many different faiths mm -hmm. um and certainly agnostic and uh atheists um um, are also part of that and just like you I I don't try to sway anybody and mm -hmm. I'm not gonna judge them mm -hmm. based on what they believe but I can share my experience exactly. to me that's and the strongest generally thing. what I do is you know I go into any situation and I share with people I say you know what there is something that I'm gonna share here that I know I'm called here if you're here there's something here for you but just take what is yours and leave the rest because I might share something spiritual and it might not vibe with you if that's not your thing but you know, take what you can take hold of what sure. you have to share. That and I do have friends who do that. I mean, I do this devotion every morning and there's a couple of atheists on it who say they take the, mor the moral values out of it and they apply it and so I say, all right, cool. <laughs> hey, because yes. there's something inside of all of it that yes. I think relate to yes. a kind of a doing the right thing, Absolutely. being the right person. Yes. The packaging will come later if it is that you're going to go in that direction. Sometimes it not come yeah. <laughs> if mm -hmm. you're not open to it. That's true. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. But you're ready, that's it. It truly is. Because a couple of years ago, when I pined up in the face, I said, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> well, I'm bound them. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> All it, does is, to, all it does is to drive a wedge between people who can help right. each other, though. But this is and it doesn't lessen my own personal conviction. Mm -hmm. It just demonstrates that, okay, there's a basis for your conviction. You believe it. Somebody else doesn't share that necessarily. Yeah, I completely am yeah. with you with that. You know, mm -hmm. this notion that, you know, we've come a long way from really being so judgmental. Sure. I personally, I tell people I'm not about religion. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. heard, I've heard, um... My name Kirk Franklin say it's not about religion it's about the relationship yeah, yeah, and it's really. about your connection mm -hmm. with creator source mm -hmm. life the universe whatever you call that higher power mm -hmm. that's how I generally describe it because I have so many people within my circle of mm -hmm. so many different faiths mm -hmm. you know even in my family me have Muslim and different people and within my circle right now but that's just a Jamaican thing though you know like I said yeah. Christmas day you might have a Rasta and a, and a Buddhist and a Pentecost and a Jehovah Witness from the same table but the Jehovah Witness is going to say they're having dinner they're not having Christmas dinner Christmas dinner they're yeah. calling Christmas they know auntie yeah. because <laughs> <laughs> you know I have a lot of friends who are witnesses and I get it and I respect their right mm -hmm. to believe what they believe and yes. we love each other nonetheless mm -hmm. even though we don't have to, we don't share the same perspective you know Agreed. it's, it's more yeah. So here's a text coming in from Paul. Paul Watson, a very, very special listener. The gentleman is very supportive. Thanks so much for your support, Paul. We really appreciate you. He says, great program again, Jerry. Captivating lady. I need to hear about that book. 
All right. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I need to hear about that book. So we'll get to the book. So here's a, a text that came in on our regular text line. Oh, by the way, thanks, Stacey. If you get the text line, can you imagine? So long, me never remember. 2854RJ. How could I forget that? Is that, you know? Okay. That's why we have young brains around here. 2854. <laughs> She's not taking me on just yet. <laughs> No, sir, fear. Stacey can handle her business. I'm not too sure how I'm bringing down. I can't believe it. I will leave the room and wonder why I come out again and I have to go back. <laughs> it's not my brother talking. No, that is just no, that's a sign of the times. That is not an age thing. That's a sign, sign of, of the, the times. Time. It's true. <laughs> me here, I'll pick me at five and complain for stress. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's true. Oh, oh yes. I don't yes. know whether to laugh or to cry. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want to laugh because it's kind of cute and it's bizarre, but I'm like, no, at five, you should be just too busy doing stuff like... No, oh. they'll, they'll even say that school is stressful. Yes, Why and it is too. Maybe, maybe, they, maybe they're giving them too much work. I think so. I think so. <laughs> so, anywho, yeah, so it's 285 for RJ if you want to send to a regular text line, 285 all right? So, here's Keith now um, from Brownstone. Ask the lady if her father continued to support her at all in Canada. I don't think so. He said, did, did a good that deal. That was it. Sign mm-hmm. the thing and say, all right. And basically, let me know him have a family. Yes. Right? And him no one cause any problem. Mm-hmm. So, me just have to go and manage. Me find my way. Mm-hmm. Basically. So, you just pass the button and him, you run your leg. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> so, once she left the exchange zone, Keith, that was it. She had that to kind of bolt. It. <laughs> and just go just out, run her leg. Out away from yeah, because, well, but you are grateful that he did, in fact, do that. Without though. a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, sure. I mean, sometimes you want more from somebody, but mm-hmm. you have to kind of think, just parse it and understand mm-hmm. it. I don't think it's settling stand- on its standards. It's understanding. Y- you know, it's I, understanding. It's, it's not so. It, it is to a certain extent. I'll tell you. The story are really complex because there's another layer to it. My my life tends to be like that. Wow. <laughs> so, Seasons and layers. So, so what we can't, we can't get into the details of it because yeah. already, I trust you. You know, if there's, you a, there's a book anthology and thing and I already said that um, no, that's there fine. was some stuff. But yeah, the, there is another layer to it. And um, it, it yeah, you guys... We just got trust enough. We'll be um, waiting. Pay attention, and yes. I will. I will bring. I will bring it back to you guys if you will have me here. <laughs> well, absolutely. <laughs> After a thing like that, yes. No, yes. but seriously though, we would definitely we'll, we're waiting for that book. Um, but I, I guess you can tell us in a little bit. We we'll get to that in a little. But stick up in like I would say you you going to have stick to tell us. In. You know, have to tell us about um, the worth it work you've done as an author. But we don't reach there so reach yet. yet. Say so, yeah, now, tell the people I'm holding again, Carol. Hello, Jamaica. <laughs> you want to say that? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Hi to all the listeners out there. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday afternoon. I know I'm enjoying myself. And here. she don't shy. She, she's no, I'm a, not shy. She's just kind of... No, I, I, she's zen. I, I usually tell people that when I'm quiet... Mm-hmm. She's I'm listening. Obs- I'm observing. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yes, I get I'm it. learning. Mm-hmm. And then when I've learned enough, then I say, okay, here mm-hmm. I am. I get it. I get it. <laughs>